Assalamu alaikum everybody. So good to be with you again. Today I want to share some uh, ideas about optimism and positivity. Optimism is expecting the best in ourselves, uh, in other people, and in our life. Tawakkul is that we trust in Allah to make a plan for us that's going to be the best plan and the most positive plan for us. So being optimistic in your life means that you love Allah so much that really you have a positive attitude in your life because of that love for Allah Ta'ala. So how was Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam a positive person? Well, first of all, he didn't listen to people's negativity. He might listen to people's concerns and people might think, you know, things that were um, maybe not so positive. He would listen to what they had to say, but he wouldn't necessarily change his mind about things or change his plan about things to become negative. He would focus on how to make positive things happen. He worked hard to create goals for himself and with anybody that he would meet, he would give them a sense of positivity if they didn't have it. And he looked for positive things in other people. So sometimes people would think that uh, you know a person coming in only had done wrong things or would not be able to do good things or positive things, but he would always find even the smallest thing in that person and make sure everybody knew that that person had something positive in them. Did you know that during the day we might have about 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts that come in and out of our mind? Sometimes many of those thoughts can be negative. It can be thoughts that kind of keep us down from doing something positive or doing something constructive. Well, what can we do with those negative thoughts? What can we do to make our attitude and our day more positive? There are about four things that I want to share with you that I've learned about being positive in my life. The first one is getting to know the universe and everything that's around us. And many times you can think of it as, as signs from Allah Ta'ala that He's giving us to remind us to be positive. Sometimes you can look at nature, right? You can look at things that change. You know, we could talk about a caterpillar that goes to a butterfly. You can look at the leaves that come and go on trees. Um, you can look at things that grow like that. And we understand that things take time to grow. Things take time to change. And that helps us to remember that positivity takes time, right? And if you have a positive attitude, things take time, but eventually they get better. The second thing that I've learned about positivity is that you can get to know your body and how it works. And you can know how to take care of your body. Because once you take care of your body, through whether it's exercise or doing things that are healthy for your body, it actually helps your body to help you think about being positive. So what's really interesting is that um, doctors have found that people that have a positive attitude about life actually have healthier bodies, which means that they may get sick, everybody gets sick sometime, but they may actually heal or get better sooner because they have a positive attitude uh, about life. The third thing that I've been thinking about in positivity is to get to know your mind and how it works. What does that mean? Well, that means that you really can take the idea of I can't do something and turn it into I can do something. And it's just telling your mind or telling yourself that you can do it. It's kind of just having a positive uh, words to use, right? So you can find out what is it that I'm really good at doing and how can I keep doing that? What is it something that I'm good at doing that I can help somebody else do? And by doing that with the things that you can do, you actually start to have a more positive attitude. And instead of saying, I'm not good at this, you could say, well, what am I missing so I can figure out and I can do it. Instead of saying, I give up, I don't know how to do this, you could instead say, well, let me figure out what do I need to do or what could I learn to do something better. And instead of saying something like, you know, I don't want to even try, you can think, well, if I just try, I might not get it, but I can keep trying. So that's one way to help your mind to kind of reshift into something positive, and then you get to do some, um, some more things with your life and you feel better about it. So the fourth thing that I've been learning about is to get to know your heart and how it feels. And all your feelings, actually. Getting to know your feelings and getting to understand them and know that, first of all, you have feelings, and second of all, what those feelings mean. Then you can feel when you don't feel positive. If you're not really connected to your feelings and don't really know your feelings, then you don't know that you're not feeling positive. So for example, um, for empathy, you might think, well, that friend, or in this case, if you're staying at home and you, your, your sibling doesn't want to play with you, you might just feel like, oh, they don't like me. And that makes you feel negative, right? Why don't they like me? Why doesn't my friend want to play with me? Why doesn't my brother or sister want to be with me, right? You might think all those negative things, and that's going to make you sad. But instead, you could say, well, maybe that person had a bad day. 
right? Or maybe that person doesn't want to play with me because they have something else going on. And that helps you think about something positive about yourself and about the other person and about the situation. We also have to think about being surrounded by positivity. So in our hearts, when we have um, a feeling that's negative, go to somebody who can help you be positive. Maybe go and tell somebody, I'm feeling kind of bad about this or negative and find somebody that can help you think about turning that negative into a positive. So how can you practice optimism at home today, like right now? What can you do? What can I do at home? Well, some things that I've thought about and I've, I've seen other people doing this. One is you can put messages around your whole house, write little notes that say positive things like you got this or you're doing great for each other, right? I know a friend of mine that has a, a wall that's full of love. It says love in the middle and they put a bunch of messages that just think, say positive things about loving each other. You can also, when you go to sleep, and this is something that the Prophet has also taught us, when you go to sleep, think about three things that have been really positive for that day. And if you can't get to three, just do one. And think about one thing that happened that was great for the day, right? You think about it and you also say Alhamdulillah. So you're both doing something positive and optimistic and you're doing shukr at the same time. Another thing you can do is learn something new. When you learn something new and you're able to do it, obviously it's going to make you feel positive about many other things. Thank somebody. Say thank you during the day. The more you say thank you to somebody, the more positive you will feel. You can also, something really easy, is smile. We know we say we smile to other people and that's sadaqa, it's charity, but you know what? You can even smile just for yourself. If you're all by yourself and you're feeling negative, just try the smile. And when you smile, and it, even the physical part of smiling actually affects your body, it affects your mind, it affects your heart, and you're giving yourself positivity. You don't always have to wait for someone else to give you positivity. You can create it yourself with a smile. So, something that we've tried at school, and some of you have done at home, to think about positivity and negativity, is something that's called a rose, a bud, and a thorn exercise. So what that really just means is, if you look at a rose bush, and here's one in my garden, um, if you look at the rose that's opening up, or that's opened, you think about all the beautiful and positive things that have happened in your life, right? Which is a beautiful thing. Then you think about thorns, right? Thorns that might, that come along with the, uh, the rose bush, but that could be painful, or they're negative maybe. So there are negative things in your life that you might encounter, but they're part of the rose bush. And finally, you might think about, um, a bud. So a bud is something that hasn't quite yet opened up. It's still, it's still closed up. I'm not quite sure what it is, but you think about all the possibilities, which means all the positive things that the bud could bloom into. So that's kind of what our life is like. We have roses, we have thorns, and we have buds in our life. And those all help us remember that everything is connected. We can have positive things, negative things, and possible things in our life. So maybe at home, what you can do is share with each other with you, your siblings, your parents, anybody that's at home, think about what has been in your life that's a flower, uh, a rose, a beautiful rose, right? In your day or in your week if you want to do it, what's been something negative or painful or difficult, which is the thorn? And then what's something you're thinking about that might happen, which is really exciting, which is the bud? So you can go around and everybody can share what they think or what they feel, and that'll help you to remember all the positive things in your life and also to how to deal with some of the negative things in your life. So try that at home. Let me know how it goes, inshallah. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum.